Hi, uh, I'm Himanshu, one of the co-founders of Aspiring Minds. Um, I have seven minutes, so I'll take you guys through what we do very quickly and leave, try to leave a minute or two for questions. Assuming I can make this work, okay. So what do we do? Um, our vision is to automate job matching, uh, try to get as much of the human component automated using technology. We use AI and data science to objectively match people to jobs. Um, kind of describe the ecosystem, help, people, help corporations understand what kind of people work for them, use automated tools rather than the very extensive humanly driven interview process to help them do that, um, give students, job seekers feedback on their gaps, their, help them diagnose what jobs they do match to, what they don't match to, and help them figure out stuff around that, and then connect to the upskilling, reskilling ecosystem to help bridge the gap. Um, so how do we do it? We do employability assessments, probably one of the world's most comprehensive employability assessment suite out there, ranging from language skills, automated language evaluations in spoken, written, English, Spanish, German, French coming along the way this year. Uh, we do like programming evaluation, machine learning data scientist evaluation, customer service, sales, multiple 15 minute modules which plug and play to pretty much address over 900 job roles. Uh, we do learning effectiveness and feedback using these assessments, using other tools which I'll just talk about. Then we work a lot on the certification and job matching space. We work with job boards, we work with large industry bodies in helping them certify people with job boards and helping them make better connects with uh, both employers and job seekers. We touch about four million candidates every year. We are fairly mature in some of the geographies we operate, India, China, Philippines being with those. Um, we're just starting to build our business out in the US. Some of our largest customers in the US include Amazon, Concentrix, and so on. Um, talked about a bunch of this. We work with a lot of universities and educational institutions in helping their students get better job ready by not training them, but helping them understand what they need to learn and how to connect to jobs. Um, talked about this, um, a lot of our tools, 15-minute um, competencies, evaluating cognitive, language, behavior, and functional skills. We also address the vocational market with some of our motor skills evaluations, uh, which we um, which we do using gamified assessments on tablets. A lot of ma machine learning and AI in our products, uh, video interviewing, this is something more recent. Again, manifests both in helping corporations understand how well people know their content. So our video interviewing is not just about telling people how they behaved in interviews, but also be able to use NLP and AI to be able to estimate how, how much they know Java or how much they can do marketing and so on. So we have like vertical specific engines which can help you do that. Uh, a lot of simulations and situational evaluations. Um, spoken English, I talked about that, grading programs. Um, again, by grading programs, you know, what you would typically see out there in the market is, you know, test case based grading. Uh, does the program work or not work? Our technology allows us to even evaluate code which does not compile, um, which may work for some test cases but not for others. It uses AI to understand the logical and data construct flow of the code and be able to do that. This is an extensive tool used by large tech companies like Accenture, um, Baidu, Amazon, Citibank, across, our, across the world uh, with us. So let's skip this, just in the interest of time. As I said, the mature markets, India, China, we have business in the Middle East, in the Philippines, uh, and US is a new, a new geography where we are approaching, though we're working with the likes of Amazon for the last three years. A lot of um, research and publications around um, employability assessments. We, um, a very new report which is about to come out is um, the qualification or the capabilities of technical graduates across India, China, and the US talking about how much programming people know is, you know, the million plus engineers graduating in India, China, as good as the gra engineers who are graduating out here in the US and vice versa, and what's, what's good, what's not. There's some very interesting findings there. Um, uh, there's an HBS case study on aspiring minds. Um, yep, and so work with, uh, I think about 100 plus Fortune 500 companies in helping them evaluate talent. Um, as you can see, it's a spread between technology, IT services, um, call centers. Again, a lot of our tools work very well for call centers, so large bulk jobs. They're like the backbone of many economies and, um, and um, very well we work with a lot of auto manufacturers and so on. So yeah, I think, yeah, as I hoped, spending two minutes if there are any questions.
So um, I would say eight out of 10 assessments we do are for white collar jobs, um, targeting to where you know knowledge to the knowledge industry and where skills are required. Uh, two out of 10 of our uh, um, work is in the blue collar. It's not because the job distribution is like that. It's just that uh, we've seen that um, uh, the white collar industry is a little more, um, um, yeah, I guess, uh, focused on evaluating talent and matching talent vis-a-vis -vis the blue collar industry, which has different connotations in different parts of the world. Most of our blue collar work is through governments and people who are training, getting blue collar workforce ready for jobs. Thank you.